Hey guys, okay. So I wanted to do an update on my um, doctor's appointment that I had yesterday. It is so late at night. Well, it's not late. It's like nine o'clock, but uh, we literally just walked in the door. We've been gone pretty much all day. Um, I just came upstairs and threw a t-shirt on and I am about to go to bed because I am exhausted. Um, anyway, but I knew if I didn't do this video now, I probably wouldn't do it at all. So, <laughs> um, let's see, week 31. Sorry, I've got a shirt like stuck under my foot. Um, yeah. Okay, so I had planned on mentioning the contractions and all that to my doctor. Um, which I did. Um, I mentioned it to the nurse practitioner um, when she like put me in a room or whatever. You know how they ask you, are you having any problems? Da, da, da. I told her I'd been having a lot of contractions and they were feeling more like real contractions, not just the Braxton Hicks. So, <clears throat> of course, she said that sh the doctor would obviously check me for potential dilation um, because... If you're having contractions at 31 weeks, that's typically not good. <laughs> so, um, she told me to, like, get undressed and everything, which this part was so awkward, you guys. Like, I was basically sitting in the, um, like, the waiting, not the waiting room. <laughs> I was sitting in the waiting room naked, no. Um, I was sitting in the, um, the office area, and they gave me, like, just this one little, you know how they give you the paper sheets or whatever to kind of cover yourself or whatever? Um, she gave me one of those, and she told me to take everything off. So it was super, super awkward. Um, so I'm sitting there with, like, one little sheet of paper trying to cover up here and trying to cover all down here. Um, and I was just feeling super exposed. Um, and I was not thrilled about it. Um, and I had to sit in there and wait, like, 20 minutes for her to finally get into the room. Um, so the more I'm sitting there, the more anxious and nervous I'm getting just because I'm super self-conscious anyway, um, which I shouldn't be because I know she sees everything under the sun and it's not a big deal. But, um, <clears throat> anyway, she got in there and I was explaining how I'd been having contractions and over the last three or four days, they'd been kind of significant, like they'd been feeling like something. Um, so she checked me for dilation and I am half a centimeter dilated. <laughs> at 31 weeks. Um, I kind of started freaking out. She's like, yeah, you shouldn't be dilating at all at 31 weeks. And I was like, uh, no crap. <laughs> I was like, duh, I shouldn't be dilating at 31 weeks. Um, so what she did, she said, right now, like, I'm not like a face or anything. Nothing's thinned out. She said, I don't have any other active signs of labor. None at all other than being half a centimeter dilated. She said, I could stay at half a centimeter dilated for the next month and a half. Um, and she said, that's our goal <laughs> to make it at least one more month. Um, which I could probably easily do. Um, she said, I needed to kind of stay off my feet. Don't, don't do too much too quick. Um, she said, you know, if you start having contractions, even one contraction, stop whatever you're doing and sit down and drink water. Um, she said she's not going to put me on bed rest at this point, but uh, I have another appointment in two weeks. And she said, depending on how that one goes, I may or may not be on bed rest. So I'm fingers crossed that I don't, it doesn't come to me actually being on bed rest. Um, she gave me a prescription to take a shot at 32 weeks. I don't remember the name of it. I'm sorry. I have the prescription downstairs in my purse. Um, it starts with a C. I know that. Um, but it's a shot to, that I'll take at 32 weeks. I'll take one shot for two days. So a shot once a day for two days. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that Piper's lungs are fully developed just in case she does decide to make her debut a little bit earlier than she should. Um, at least her lungs will be fully developed. And, um, it's supposed to kind of ease off the contractions a little bit, um, <clears throat> but she said if I have any painful contractions, one after another within an hour, she said go to women and children's because you need to be monitored and checked out. So, I don't know, I feel like we're getting into like go time, like it's, it's almost time for her to be here and it's kind of scary because I should still ideally have another six to eight weeks probably. I'm hoping that she stays in there at least till 36 weeks. 36 weeks right now is my goal um, with the way things are going. So I don't know. Everything's going fine though. She said everything else is good. My blood pressure is good. Um, my 
um, glucose levels, everything is good. My protein, I don't have any protein in my urine, nothing like that. Um, she said my mucus plug is still intact. Um, you know, there's not anything really to worry about other than I am half a centimeter dilated. Um, and she said usually that is cause for concern, especially since I went into early preterm labor with Zoe at 34 weeks. Um, so I guess she's just going to make sure I get the shot this time to ensure that if Piper does come early, she's covered because um, we don't want a NICU baby. We don't want her to have to be in the NICU for any amount of time at all if we can avoid it. So I don't know. And my nesting, right after that appointment, I got home and I kind of realized how really how close it is to her being here, like a month and a half, you know, at the most probably, month, two months, I don't know, a month and a half, two months, um, if I go to all the way to my due date, which at this rate, I'm not going to make it to May 24th, which is my due date. Um, so I need to start getting stuff ready. I need to organize and clean and do as much as I can. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, like keep you guys updated. Don't freak out or anything. It's not, excuse me, it's not a big deal. Um, but when she said half a centimeter dilated, I was like, whoa, because to me dilation says, oh, you're on your way to labor right now. <laughs> so, but uh, she said that it looked as though I'd probably been at half a centimeter for about a week or something. And she said it could just stay like that. You could hang out at a half a centimeter for the next month, um, which is why I'm taking the shots to ensure that I do stay at that for at least another month. Um, I don't know, kind of scary. We're getting, I don't know, it's like scary and exciting at the same time. Um, I'm, I'm scared because I'm afraid she's going to come too early and I don't want her to come too early, but I'm super excited because I'm ready for her to be here and I want to meet her and I don't know, mixed emotions, I guess. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take my contacts out and go to bed. So it's been a long, long day and I am way more exhausted than I should be. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all.